Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we will see how to create file groups. So file groups here, you can see from database property, you can access a file group, then you can create a file group. After that, you can create some secondary data files and assign that to the group which was created previously. Let's learn about what is the use for a file group. So when we created a database, we created a database called CETube, right? So the database keeps all data in a single MDF file. So MDF is the file in which uh, the um, database data get stored. Sometimes DBA will create secondary data file when there is a disk space issue. Secondary data file. Secondary data file means say for example the primary data file is occupying space on C drive. And let's state that the disk space is occupied and there will be very less space available here. So let's state 95 percentage of disk space is used by the database or a DBA um, already knows that there will be less disk space or um, the DBA knows that a specific table that may grow bigger in a short time frame let's state within six months or one year so what uh, the DBA can do the DBA can create multiple secondary data file and they can point that to different partition or even a different disk altogether So if you see the data storage, they may maintain a disk rights. People will call it as a separate hard disk. So primary database will go on a specific disk and secondary that will be in a different disk. In a real production databases and if a database grows or data table grows very quick, then they may be having a ready disk like that. So in that case, it will be good to have secondary data file for the database. File groups help in distributing data among multiple disks. So file group in the sense, here you will be creating multiple secondary data file, right? So if there are one, two, three, two, let's say M, this is this can be kept in one group, and there may be some other group in which one, two, N. So it can be kept in a, a different group. So based on this group, they can distribute the data among different RAID drives. G1 g2 so the disk quota for g1 and g2 may be different so they may go and sit on different rights for ec management the secondary data files can be grouped right if you group like this the Managing the secondary data file will be easy. Why? Because it's grouped uh, under a certain file group. Suppose if you want to make any property change,
if you make the change on the group it will reflect on all the files so if you see here in group there are m files one to m and if you make some property change on group one that will get reflected on all file or you can imagine this way there is no group there are uh, n number of uh, file and if you want to make change on one file and if you want to reflect it in, on all other file then you have to manually set the property so that will be somewhat a tedious process so that's why uh, the DBA will create uh, file groups and uh, if uh, they want to make any property change which is uh, the property change if that's common to all the file they will put that property change in the group so that the change will get reflected on all the uh, secondary data files so as already told it will go like this first uh, the DBA will create the groups and before that they may know how many table exists on a database and uh, usually these table and indexes so that will occupy the space so based on the table and uh, how quick it will grow so based on those information uh, DBA will create the groups and under the groups they may create a number of uh, files and if you see the group altogether will go on uh, separate disk and group G2 may go on separate disk so if you see here the data storage also different so if uh, we use only the primary file all the data will go into a single disk but uh, if you use uh, secondary data file and file groups you have the capability of uh, storing the data in a different disk so it's a standard to keep ndf extension for secondary data file so mdf is for primary database when you create the database the time itself you will get an uh, you will get a data file under the mdf extension so if you want to create secondary data file keep extension as ndf so but it's not a requirement it's just a standard so df stands for data file and m denotes primary or master we can say and n denotes next or secondary file so mdf means master data file or primary data file ndf means next data file or secondary data file while creating the database object say for example uh, we are creating a table so when we are creating the table one can specify the secondary file so that the data will be saved in the secondary data file so if data saved in secondary data file means it may go to a different disk as well and if you see here this is a group 1 f1 f2 these are all secondary file we can say and group 2 contains some other secondary file and there will be a primary data file as well mdf that will go and sit on some disk let's say uh, when you are creating the table table to the time itself you can specify a file data file and thereby you are deciding where the table data will go and sit so during the table creation itself one can specify the uh, storage location so once that specified in later transaction days when the table get filled with the rows 
these rows of data will get stored on the disk because we specified where is the file location all right all right now we will see how to create a data file and associate that with a file group data file in the sense here we are going to create a secondary data file and we will associate that to the file group so the secondary data file is the one which will store the uh, database objects data file group is to logically group this data file so that you can apply some property change that will get reflected on all the assigned data files all right now we will go to the demo so let's uh, expand our database this is the sample database we created right these are all microsoft supplied database we, uh, let's don't touch that we will take our own database and explore the file groups here right click on the sample database then choose properties in the properties you can see file groups and here if you see there is only one file group and the file group name is primary and it states number of file that belongs to this group is one so if you go to files here let me expand this file group if you see there is one that belongs to primary file group and logical name is ctube the type is rows of data and we named this as a ctube underscore data and it is available in a d drive temp location if you go here d temp you can see uh, the data file so this one is a data file and the second one is a log file so when you create a table and when you enter rows of data the file gate field and if you see here the available disk space here is a 55 gb but uh, when table get filled quickly those data get consumed because finally the rows of data will get stored here in this file and when the file size grows it will occupy the disk quota right now let's go back here file group so to create a new file group what we can do you can click on add file group here if you see now we have one more row and we will name this as group one and we will mark this as default so so just now we created a file group now we will go to files if you see here under this files column zero right because we just created the group but we doesn't assign any file to this group so what we can do now we will go to files and here we will click on add so just double click this logical name uh, column in the third row so here i'm typing c c tube yes one you can give any name but uh, since here um, we are creating the secondary file for uh, coding example tube um, we are creating c tube database name then uh, yes uh, here we are just giving a notation stating that it's a secondary file and if you see file group is automatically picked as uh, group one why because here in the file group we specified this as default 
suppose if uh, the default is a primary and here in the file group if I create a new file group C tube S2 and if you see the group is a primary so that's what set here using the default all right now since we are creating the secondary these two file blanks to same group all right after specifying the file group we will specify the database location d temp we will choose same location but uh, in real world definitely the secondary file will be in a different partition even in a different uh, disk on the raid all right here just for demo purpose here i am using the same location d temp and here we will name it as ce tube underscore data one dot ndf we will copy this and use the same name with a different letter here so there are two data file that blanks to file group g1 right now if i go back to file group g1 you can see there are two file that blanks to this uh, group one so click here now if you go to this location so here you can see there are two data file which we created and these two data file belongs to group g1 or group 1 right so d temp but uh, using the secondary data file you can as already told you can specify a different uh, disk drive a completely different disk i mean so that's all here in this video just now you saw the demo of how to create a secondary data file for storing the database objects thank you for watching bye